Welcome to Bad Movie Physics, where I look at movies and break down on why some things are just physically impossible. Here I have chosen the movie Fast and Furious 6, where Dom, Brian, and Roman try to stop a tank that's being driven by Owen Shaw, Letty, and the driver Ja. The Fast and Furious series have been very well known to be realistically possible, such as this bank vault scene in Fast and Furious 5. If you did not catch it, this 50 ton bolt hits a tree, and the tree seems to be completely fine. Anyways, let us watch the clip first. Yeah! What's she doing? Shit! Okay, Toretto. Here's your girl. And your happy ending. Lemmy! As you can see, Dom jumps out of the car, leaps into mid-air, catches Letty, and lands safely on the windshield of the car. While there are many things wrong about this scene such as Dom being able to fly or the windshield not breaking upon impact, I will be analyzing momentum in this scene. Let's start off with Dom or Vin Diesel. The speed he gets launched off of is completely off. Momentum is basically inertia in motion, or mass times velocity. Momentum is conserved due to the law of conservation of momentum where in the absence of an external force like gravity, Dom appears to be flying so we'll throw gravity out the window. The total momentum before the collision is equal to the total momentum after the collision. Since there is no dent in the fence, I am assuming that momentum was transferred into Dom. Using this equation, we can find Dom's realistic velocity. After about 8 ticks, I'm going to say P instead of momentum because saying momentum many times is difficult. Anyways, the P before the crash is the mass of Dom and the car multiplied by the velocity of the car. It is equal to P after the crash. In the equation, I separated P of Dom and the P of the car. Since the car is no longer moving, its velocity is zero. Therefore, all the momentum was transferred into Dom. Solving for Dom's final velocity, we get this equation. Alright, so now we have to get our values. Here is Vin Diesel. He weighs 102 kilograms. His car weighs 3,740 pounds, but I'm easily able to convert it to kilograms with technology. At 60 miles per hour, his car is going 26.8 meters per second. Substituting all these values in, he is supposed to be going 473.5 meters per second. But wait! There's more! When calculating Letty's final velocity from the same concept as Dom, her final velocity comes out to be 29,531.4 meters per second. Where am I going with this? When Letty gets launched off the tank, she would go so fast that Dom wouldn't see her to catch her. Therefore, Letty here would be long gone and Dom would be flying just to grab nothing. What if Dom timed it correctly? Well, based on physics and momentum of two objects colliding and sticking together, this should not have landed right across the bridge. Let's look at momentum in two directions, X and Y. Starting with the X, assuming that Letty is going in the X direction and Dom is going in the Y direction. I mean, it looks pretty perpendicular to me. We can conclude that the speed in the X direction that they're supposed to be going is 10,284.1 meters per second. Similar math, in the Y direction, Dom's speed is supposed to be 308.6 meters per second. With the X and Y components known, it is easy to calculate the resultant. Therefore, Dom and Letty are supposed to be going 10,288.7 meters per second, 1.92 degrees left from Letty's initial direction. Therefore, when Dom catches Letty, they don't land on the other side of the bridge instantly, but go a fair bit out before they land and hopefully land on another windshield. Time for the verdict. Is this scene in Fast and Furious 6 physically possible? Yes. Yes.